Hey guys, this is the first lesson about photo editing, but before we go directly to the process, in this video I would like to tell you which software better to use in each case. Of course I will explain everything using Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop and Bridge. The mood of the video is that you don't have to see it and write down any specific details, but you have to listen carefully, because I will try to explain you exactly how and what software you have to use in different cases. Well, make some tea or coffee and let's go! All the software that we are going to talk about today is included in the photographer's plan on the Adobe website. Now we can open up the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application and I can see everything in one place. Now let's go over it. So the first one is Camera Raw. This is a plugin for working with pictures taken in RAW. The same plugin opens if you choose to open a picture in Photoshop which was taken in RAW. Next, I would like to talk about Adobe Bridge. Roughly speaking, this is like a Windows Explorer with the ability to rate pictures or like the Lightroom without the ability to actually edit. So all you can do is quickly look at the pictures and put some stars on them. The next one is Lightroom, where as I said you are able to sort all your galleries, give ratings to your pictures, as well as make a color correction of a single picture or two or a hundred of them at once. However, you cannot make a person look thinner or do a skin retouch, replace the sky or insert an object from one photo into another and so on. The difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom is that Lightroom is not specifically designed for selecting pictures, because they are all uploaded to your personal cloud, but this is a huge benefit because you can add your photo from any device like your computer, or tablet or phone and it will automatically appear on all your devices where you can adjust the photo and all changes to it will be synchronized on all your devices. And today we will not talk about Adobe Rush at all, because this is the same that Cloud Lightroom, but kind of for video. And the last one, of course, the well-known Adobe Photoshop. This is a software for various manipulations on images that have already been converted from RAW to the JPEG or similar format. In Photoshop you can do almost anything, skin retouching, removing any unnecessary object from a picture, replacing color and so on. My process is a little different from how most photographers work, but this is the main idea of the video that through those differences you will see how to deal with different software and maybe you'll even find a more convenient way for you to work with pictures. So what does the regular workflow looks like after we have transferred our pictures from the camera to the computer? Let's get started. First, you need to add your pictures to Lightroom and the most convenient way is to just grab a folder with your pictures and drop it in the Lightroom icon. Next, all the photos is already selected and we just press the import button. For a short time, Lightroom generates photo previews to make it easier and faster for us to work with our pictures. Now we are ready to sort pictures and select the best ones. This way seems to me to work best for reportage photographers, for example, those who shot sports or weddings. Because on average you can take up to 5000 pictures per wedding and depending on your contract you have to send back like a thousand of them to, to the customer with color correction. And this is where Lightroom comes in very handy. So after all the pictures are selected, we can apply a filter and see only those images that we like. Finally, we can move on to the process of developing raw pictures. Here you can crop the photo and align the horizon. You can play with the light, texture, saturation, curves, adjust the color and so on. It is very convenient in Lightroom that you can copy the settings from one photo and apply it to another one or to the whole thousand. Just click synchronize and you're done. Here we can apply our favorite presets made by you or someone else. For example, I like this black and white preset and I want it to be in all my other pictures. And that's it. If you want to export all these edited pictures with the settings and convert them from RAW to a JPEG, then we simply select all the pictures and click export. Now we have to choose the folder in which to export the pictures as well as the size of the photo and their format and quality. But what I have to do if I would like to remove, for example, those ropes from the horse muzzle? Of course, Photoshop will help us. And opening this picture in Photoshop is very simple. Just right click on a photo and click edit in Photoshop. 
Now I'm going to carefully remove this rope and also add some background. Then I just click save and return to the Lightroom. As I said earlier, Photoshop is a software that works not with raw pictures, but with converted to JPEG or other format images. With standard settings, Lightroom simply takes and converts raw images to TIF format and open it in Photoshop. For example, we can right click on a new photo and see that it's separately saved TIF file. That's why all changes in color and light are always best to do before you open your photo in Photoshop. For example, on this picture I can return the color to the original, but here after Photoshop it's gone. It could be the end of the lesson because this workflow is suitable for almost everyone. But now I will show you what I do with photographs and maybe it will be more convenient for you or maybe not, but at least you will know that it's possible to do it in a different way. So why I'm doing it differently? First, maybe this is in the past, but before, in my opinion, Lightroom could overload the whole system and you have to restart your computer or it may crash. Second, I do not shoot any reportage and do not give a thousand pictures to my clients. I usually give no more than 15 well retouched pictures. That's why Adobe Bridge turned out to be very useful for me. The main idea of the software is simply review and set ratings to your pictures. Here everything is the same as with Lightroom. We just have to take a folder with pictures and throw it in the Adobe Bridge. Again, just like in Lightroom, we look at the pictures and give them some stars. Also, now I can select only the pictures I liked and if I click on the photo, it should open in Photoshop. But since we are working with a RAW image, the Camera RAW plugin opens before Photoshop, because the image must be developed and be in JPEG or TIF or other formats, so Photoshop can work with it. By the way, if we are going to return to the Finder and open photo in Photoshop, then absolutely the same thing will happen. I mean that we will see Adobe Camera Raw plugin again before we can edit the picture in Photoshop. The Camera Raw plugin has exactly the same functionality for adjusting light and color, sharpness, noise and everything else as Lightroom and works on absolutely the same principle. In fact, I would even say that Camera Raw plugin is kinda built in in a Lightroom. So I know that I will remove those ropes from the horses, clean the background and so on in all four pictures. That's why in the Adobe Bridge I select all four photos and press enter and they all gonna open in Camera Raw. Here just like in the Lightroom, I select the first photo, process it in some way, I can use exact the same presets I show you in the Lightroom, I can adjust it and I'm going to convert it to black and white too. Next, I can copy the settings of the photo and paste them on all the others. Of course, I can adjust every single picture and then I simply select all the pictures with shift and click to open. In Photoshop, I see that I have opened all four pictures and now I can start photo manipulations on each of them. On these photos, for example, we will clean the background and remove everything unnecessary. Now I will remove the rope and, for example, the eye. <laughs> like, why not? On that one, I won't do that much and I'm going to just clean everything everything up a little. The same here and I don't know, I can make a little collage. I'm just going to take this picture, flip it horizontal and paste here. Well, that's all. Now we can save each photo as a Photoshop file and come back to it later and make editing or save it as a JPEG. By the way, if I still need to send like 50 pictures to my client so he can choose the best one to edit, then I select all the photos I have previously selected and throw them into the Lightroom. Here I immediately select them all and export them in a small resolution since they are needed only just for visual selection. In general, both of those workflow is helpful in a different situation, but who knows, maybe you are like a samurai that have your own way of processing pictures, which you can share in the comments below. And if this video was useful for you or at least entertaining, then hit the like button, subscribe and see you in the next video.